Hello everybody and welcome to this week's virtual pub quiz. I hope you've all been keeping safe and well. So today as always we've got 30 questions for you. The first 15 are general knowledge and the second round of 15 are based on literature. So this is one for you bookworms. So what we'll do is we'll go through and do all the questions first and then you can gather your answers together. Pop me and pause if it goes too quick at any point. And then what we'll do is we'll go through and see how well you've scored. So let's get started. Question one, sodium chloride is better known as what? Sodium chloride is better known as what? Something we probably use in most days of our lives. Question two, which British inventor was known as the father of steam? So which British inventor was known as the father of steam? Question three, in the Wild West, how was Henry McCarty better known? So in the Wild West, how was Henry McCarty better known? Question four, how many stones did David take for his fight with Goliath? Was it one, five or 15? So how many stones did David take for his fight with Goliath? Was it one, five or 15? Question five, now this is quite tricky. You might have been playing close attention, but in a standard set of playing cards, which is the only king without a moustache? So in a standard set of playing cards, which is the only king without a moustache? Question six, what is the speed limit on a German motorway? Is it 60, 70 or 80? So what is the speed limit on a German motorway? Is it 60, 70 or 80? Question seven, how many lions are depicted on the royal standard? Is it five or seven? So how many lions are depicted on the royal standard? Is it five or seven? Question eight, in Britain, what shape is the road sign stop? So in Britain, what shape is the road sign stop? Question nine, which actor who played the ugly in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly? So who played the ugly in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly? Question 10. 
Question 10. In a game of chess, what is the only piece able to jump over other pieces? So in a game of chess, what is the only piece able to jump over other pieces? Question 11. According to the old proverb, all roads lead to which capital city? So according to the proverb, all roads lead to which capital city? Question 12. The name of which Italian cheese beginning with R means re-cooked? The name of which Italian cheese beginning with R means re-cooked? Doesn't feel too appetising, does it? Thirteen. Which is the oldest of the royal parks in London? So which is the oldest of the royal parks in London? Fourteen. Which newspaper brought out the first colour supplement? So which newspaper brought out the first colour supplement? Fifteen. In motoring, what does MG stand for? So in motoring, what does MG stand for? Okay, so that's your 15 general knowledge. Now on to our 15 questions on literature. So, 16. What is Frankenstein's first name in Mary Shelley's novel? So, what is Frankenstein's first name in Mary Shelley's novel? Seventeen. How many lines are there in a sonnet? Are there ten, twelve, or fourteen? So, how many lines are there in a sonnet? Are there ten, twelve, or fourteen? Eighteen. Which two cities provide the setting for Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities? So which two cities provide the setting for Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities? Nineteen. What are the name of the three darling children in Peter Pan? So what are the name of the three darling children in Peter Pan? Fourteen. 
question 20. Which English illustrator and children's writer is best known for illustrating Roald Dahl's books? So which English illustrator and children's writer is best known for illustrating Roald Dahl's books? Twenty one. Who was the eldest of Enid Blyton's famous five? So who was the eldest of Enid Blyton's famous five? Twenty-two. In the Beatrix Potter stories, what type of creature was Miss Moppet? So in the Beatrix Potter stories, what type of creature was Miss Moppet? 23. In which city is Shakespeare's Measure for Measure set? So in which city is Shakespeare's Measure for Measure set? 24. Who wrote The Great Gatsby and This Side of Paradise? So who wrote The Great Gatsby and This Side of Paradise? 25. Which famous author was born Eric Arthur Blair, yet wrote under a pen name? So which famous author was born Eric Arthur Blair, yet wrote under a pen name? You'll be surprised how many people write under pen names. 26. C.S. Lewis wrote how many books in the Chronicles of Narnia series? Was it five or seven? So C.S. Lewis wrote how many books in the Chronicles of Narnia series? Was it five or seven? 27. Who wrote the first English dictionary? So 27. Who wrote the first English dictionary? 28. What type of animal is Snowball in George Orwell's Animal Farm? So what type of animal is Snowball in George Orwell's Animal Farm? 29. In Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest, what is Ernest's real name? In Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest, what is Ernest's real name? 
And lastly, question 30, in which country was the author Hans Christian Andersen born? So in which country was the author Hans Christian Andersen born? So that's all your questions. Um, Totter them up, make sure you've got all your answers together and see me in a few seconds and we'll go through and see how well you've scored out of 30. See you in a sec. So welcome back and it's now time to go through and see how well you've scored out of 30. So question one, sodium chloride is better known as what? And it's common salt, something we do use probably most days of our lives. Question two, which British inventor was known as the father of steam? And that was James Watt. Question three. In the Wild West, how was Henry McCarty better known? And he was Billy the Kid. Question four. How many stones did David take for his fight with Goliath? Was it one, five or fifteen? And he took five. Question five. In a standard set of playing cards, which is the only king without a moustache? So you might have been paying close attention or you might have had a lucky guess, but it was the king of hearts. Question six. What is the speed limit on a German motorway? And it's 80 miles per hour. Ten faster than us. Question seven. How many lines are depicted on a royal standard? Was it five or seven? And there's seven. Eight. In, Brit in Britain, what shape is the road sign stop? And it's an octagon. Question nine. Which actor played the ugly in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly? And it was Eli Wallach. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Question ten. In a game of chess, what is the only piece able to jump over other pieces? And it's the knight. 11. According to the old proverb, all roads lead to which capital city and they all lead to Rome? 12. The name of which Italian cheese beginning with R means recooked? And that's ricotta. 13. Which is the oldest of the royal parks in London? And it's St James. 14. Which newspaper brought out the first colour supplement? And that's the Sunday Times. 15. In motoring, what does MG stand for? And it's Morris Garages. So that's the 15 general knowledge and now the answers for the 15 on literature. So what is Frankenstein's first name in Mary Shelley's novel? And it's Victor. 17. How many lines are there in a sonnet? Are there 10, 12 or 14? And there are 14. 18. Which two cities provide the setting for Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities? And that's London and Paris. 19. What are the names of the three darling children in Peter Pan? And it's Wendy, John and Michael. 20. Which English illustrator and children's writer is best known for illustrating Roald Dahl's books? And that's Quentin Blake. 21. Who was the eldest of Enid Blyton's famous five? And that was Julian. 22. In the Beatrix Potter stories, what type of creature was Miss Moppet? And she is a kitten. 23. In which city is Shakespeare's Measure for Measure set? And that's set in Vienna. Question 4. Who wrote The Great Gatsby and This Side of Paradise? F. Scott Fitzgerald. 25. Which famous author was born Eric Arthur Blair, yet wrote under a pen name? And that was George Orwell. Who knew? Maybe you did. 26. C.S. Lewis wrote how many books in the Chronicles of Narnia series? Was it five or seven? And it was seven. 27. Who wrote the first English dictionary? Now you may have known this and it's Samuel Johnson. 28. What type of animal is Snowball in George Orwell's Animal Farm? And it's a pig. Or should we say Eric Arthur Blair's Animal Farm, now that we know his real name? 29. In Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest, what is Ernest's real name? And it's John or Jack Worthing. And lastly, question 30, in which country was the author Hans Christian Andersen born? And 
he was from Denmark. So that's all your answers. Tottle them up, see how well you scored out of 30 and join me again next week for another virtual pub quiz. Have a lovely week and stay safe. Bye for now.